way back we've been friends since way back made in since way back how it's been since way back since back then can't change that we've been in comments we'll see what happens yeah we'll, we'll see how long we last maybe it'll be fine maybe it won't be <clears throat> only one way to tell oh well, welcome back guys you know what we're on episode 81 now that's what you put in now Oh, yeah, I think. Oh. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe, 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 maybe it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's doing good. It's, it's you know, we're, we're getting there. Tape grows. Anyways, yeah. Um, yeah, we got the, got John Wick. Can, yeah. When's that? The, That's this weekend. This weekend? Mm -hmm. It is this weekend. My, it friend, is. my friend did tell me this My weekend. brother, I'm going for my brother's birthday. He wants to go. Because his birthday yeah. is tomorrow, I believe. No, two days. Two days. Not to go. So it's actually on his birthday. <laughs> It looks exciting. I'd love to see how it ends. Like I said, I, I have a feeling that they have to kill him, right? There's just no way that this ends well. Like, it'll be a non-plausible ending. Like, maybe if he goes after the... Like, there's the thing. I think it would actually be a better story if he dies at the end. Yeah, it would be nice. It would be a good little story. I, I think it would. Um, at the same time, I mean, it's just good to see. Which is so interesting, because I feel like Keanu is not... Like, that person... You know, like he's, yeah. you know what I mean? But he does well in this series. Like the last time you really see him as like a big action hero, like that is Matrix or not Matrix. Uh... That's not, that's insane. I was going to say Matrix. Okay. There's another one, I but I can't think of it. But and, and even then he's like rocking a totally different persona. You know what I mean? Totally different character, totally different style of doing things. Like Wick has done well. Just in general, I think it's one of those movies that most people mm -hmm. like. You know what I mean? It's no, it's like, good. I've always, yeah, I always enjoyed it from the first one. And you know, I'm not really a big fan of Keanu Reeves, just because honestly, he's one of those other characters that just plays himself. I feel like he doesn't though. Like Keanu does is such. Or a he weird... just to me, he always he always feels like he just plays Neo. Yeah, I get to, to that. Uh, like he's got that. There's just... different ones. Like I've seen him in some other ones too. So like I keep try to keep track of. Him him a little bit he's also a very down-to-earth guy no and life. that's i've heard i've heard he's not very uh he doesn't like uh splurge on his money and stuff and all that yeah i've heard that uh he's a very well, down -to -earth he, guy he has like a lot of stuff in his like his sister died of cancer or something mm -hmm. and, or something like that i can't remember exactly yeah. again but, like i said yeah i know he was just one of those ones that you kind of um, see him he's not lavished in clothing he's just i'm trying to think very... you know i i honestly just want to take a second and see so I gotta open, make sure that video opens up as well on my end or not, you know, God forbid I want to watch my own video. <laughs> um, I just want to see, let's see what he's been in. Cause I feel like he's like, I see him in things and don't see him in things. So I've been in the matrix course and then... Bill and Ted, obviously yeah, that's, face, that's another, face the music. That's going to be fun. That's, John Wick, Toy Story 4, Replica. Yeah, he's going to be in Toy Story 4 now until they heard. Swedish Dicks. Huh, that's interesting. I didn't know he was in a TV series. I actually did. Honestly, he's not in too much in the last couple years. Like, yeah. Like I said, he's, he's never really played like very big, big roles that I know of, you know? Just, I mean, he just doesn't, but they just like, do then, a lot of... He's got Constantine. Wick, I forgot Constantine. And then Constantine was kind of up there when it was... Yeah, I mean, when you go back, I think he has some stuff even for the Matrix and between Bill and Ted's, but much ado about nothing. So that's how I know, like stuff like that. He does other roles, right? So like much ado about nothing is one of those roles where he's like plays a totally different character. I think. God forbid him. Who knows? <laughs> but I will say, yeah, he's that like, and we'd had that conversation before the stream started too about like different characters who just kind of get set into this type and we're we talk about characters people that are really big right like we're talking we talked about jack black or not maybe really big but kind of big jack black justin long um a mm -hmm. couple of those guys yeah. yeah and uh so john wick this week and then we have turn it up a bit <laughs> see besides john wick and i'm gonna fix that oh we have uh godzilla Godzilla, yes. When does that come out? This month. Really? The end of the month. Really? I didn't I didn't think about that. That'll be exciting. Yeah, I'm excited for that one for sure. I think it's gonna be good. I uh it's not gonna be a slow burner. 
Yeah, this that's looks what like I it's, heard. Well, there's just no, there's no way it can be a slow time. burner. Like the other one was right. The other and Godzilla I wasn't was, really mad about it. Honestly. I was. I hated it. Yeah, it got you, terrible review. That's why it did so bad. It yeah. did he- tor- terrible because it was the shitty action movie. Had no action. Had like ten minutes of action through an hour and a half movie. I was happy towards the end. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. The final. That's the whole movie. You could skip the whole first fifty minutes of that movie. And not miss shit. Yeah. And that's why it's a bad... That was just a bad movie. Like, it got bad scores. It got bad reviews. King Kong's the only thing that saved that universe. And even it didn't do that well. Comparatively to, like, how these blockbusters are supposed to make money. Like, we've talked about it. If it doesn't make triple what they spent on it, they don't make another one. Yeah. Well, and, like, like I said, I like it. Like, this one looks way better. Action, which is what a Godzilla movie mm-hmm. should be about. Action. Like, like I said, it, I enjoyed the, my favorite part about the movie was the sound design because he won an award. The dude who did it, mm-hmm. I used to go to school with him and he won an award for the sound design. Oh, in that cool. Movie. Yeah. That's my favorite part of the movie. The rest of the movie is total ass in my opinion, obviously. But if you look at the credit, critic ratings, the sales and everything, like it just didn't do well. And that's because they decided to make a Godzilla movie where Godzilla only showed up for 10 minutes, mm-hmm. which is they obviously learned their lesson because it ain't going to be that way in the new movie. It sounds, And it couldn't be because how many monsters are they bringing you know, into this? That, and that's kind of why I wasn't too mad about it because I kind of knew that they were they were kind of doing this setup, you know? Which is cool, but if you never get past and, the first movie to get your setup, that's my thing. The first Godzilla, if I were a movie maker, like I said, if they, if they hadn't already had the Universal plan and King Kong already in production, I guarantee you they would have scrapped it right there because it just did so bad. Like... I think it it's got decent ratings, but its sales were under like six hundred million or something, maybe seven. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I'd love to. I'd love to see how it actually did. Godzilla. I mean, it got seventy five percent rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, I don't know if that's Meta a... Metacritic was eh, not too bad. They're saying it's sixty two. That sounds about right. <laughs> sixty two sounds about right, which is. 90%, Justice League. Ninety percent of Google users loved it. <laughs> well, that just tells you everything. Yeah, this movie made five hundred million worldwide. That's a terrible, terrible number. I don't know what the cost was to make it though. So if it only cost a hundred million, then they made their money mm-hmm. back. But guessing on uh, let's see, cost to make God Godzilla two thousand fourteen. And like I said, those critics' uh, websites are all great, but let's like I said, when it comes to movies, this is a business, and the movies are only going to make. Uh, they're only going to make it if it makes money. They don't care if it was well received; they just care if it makes money. Now, granted, well received movies usually make money, so that helps them. But see, it kept. Let's see, this isn't what I'm looking for. Forbes, I want to see. That's what I want to see the numbers. Oh, they didn't do too bad. It was only a production budget of 160 million. I thought they would have at least 300 million for the effects in that one. That one? But then again, didn't have Godzilla in it, so you didn't need that many effects. <laughs> like, and that's that makes it a success at 100 and. 60 million times because three is really i remember when it first million. came out honestly when it first came out that whole that literally that that second week or first week they already said all right guys we're going with number two already we're, we're going with it like literally oh, they, had a, they, they it had a great drop that. off ex, drop box office drop it had like a 200 million box office drop and then it consistently went down the tubes from there yeah um, but as long as they made their money. <laughs> like you said, it's all about making money. I assume they had m- spent more money making it, but thinking about it, if you don't have Godzilla in every scene, you don't have to spend a ton yeah. on special effects, and you don't spend that much money. Because I don't... Did they have any big actors in that either? Like, no, there was... Um, like big uh, actors? Had, what's his name? Uh, but he didn't last long. Remember, he was only in there for a little bit. I don't remember. Bill uh, Craston, whatever his name is. Oh, Cranston? Yeah, he was in uh, there, remember? I feel like remember he's... Remember, he was the guy... He's, he's cool, but he's a TV star he's not a movie yeah. star i always see him though as a big guy though i don't, I don't know. see him as a big guy he's a tv star like show him he's like, starting he's to a, get there he's got movies now but none of his movies he was are... in power rangers now oh. <laughs> remember he yeah played, that's not uh, a good example Zord- either he plays zordon um 
Yeah, that was probably was a really good role for him. But yeah, I wouldn't say that's a good example of him becoming no, a big he's, star. He's start, no, but he's starting to kind of get more stuff. Though, he's doing in movies. Like oh, yeah, but he's not a big movie star. He's been in a couple movies so far. He's a television star. So that's and that's good because it did it at least bring some or is people it Brian to Brian Cranston. It's Brian Cranston. There we go. Yeah. But um it's good and bad. It's it's tough because most characters or most people don't make the jump from TV to movies very well. No. Even when they do really really well in TV. So my best example um what's his name? Andrew Lincoln, the guy who plays uh, Rick in The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he hasn't gotten shit. Yeah. He's in zero movies or like two movies and none, neither of them yeah. did well. Now, Cranston is actually in some other movies with people like, uh, I know he just did one with What's His Fuck. I feel uh, like he did a, a big movie. I feel like uh, he did. I guess it depends on your definition of big. I can own a big movie as a movie that does well and is popular. I don't think he's been in any movies that have done well and been popular. He's been in some movies that have been popular. Such as, the like I said, the one he just came up with was with one of the Francos. And it's like my stepson or some shit. Oh, that's, see, that's where I seen him. Yes, that's, but that's he like he did so well yeah. in that movie, though. And so that's a good so one. well. I loved him in that movie. And that's his. Him first. and Frank, like him and them too, were like, oh, they, oh, they were perfect together. Yeah. I and, love that movie. And so that one see, is. See, that I was like thinking, I was like, no, I remember he did the movie in that one. Yeah, yeah that and that's it. And that's, that's it. the most recent one, and that's been that's like last year or yeah. early this year. I can't remember. But I, I still loved him in that. I think oh, yeah. he did a wonderful job. And I think he definitely can be a movie actor. But at the time Godzilla was made, he definitely wasn't a name no, star. That movie. Was, um, he was big off Breaking Bad. That was actually for, he did Godzilla first, yeah, before that one. Because Godzilla was 2014. So I said that one's like while. last year or something. Think about it. That's been a while. I wonder actually what his stuff. IMDB Brian Cranston. Let's see. I'd love. Oh, I fucked up his name. But I'd love to see what else he's actually in. Because he was in that. He was in the one with Kevin Hart. Or no, that was. Uh, that, no, that Talking was. The Rock. Fair. No, I was, I was thinking of the wrong one. I was thinking of the Will Ferrell one. Uh, oh, was he? Oh, yeah, they did do one together. I didn't like that one. It, it wasn't good. Them two are, are not um, very, very good together. The one and only Ivan, Super Mansion TV, 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 TV. So, he, like I said, he's a TV star. He's working his way to become a movie star. The Disaster Artist, that one. Yeah, that was That's the one. one, and that came out last. How's he uncredited? That's impossible. He's the main fucking actor. That's stupid. Power Rangers, uh, never even heard of Why Him. Oh, yeah, that's him. That's the one. Is that the one? With that's the, the one with Franco. The one that Disaster Artist, that's the one with James Franco. That's the one where he did a... Oh, that's right. He Sorry. did some, like, uh, documentary over there. This, he did a, basically a reshot of another movie, basically, that came out. I forgot what the, the guy's name okay, was. Okay, yeah, that is this one, Why Him. So that was actually 2016, so that's been two years. Three years now, actually. But that was still two years after that. Forgot he was in Kung Fu Panda. Oh yeah, he's been done some Kung Fu Panda voices. That's right. Yep. He's Once the at... he's the what you call it the the lemur, right? Yeah, Lee the lemur. Yeah. No, that's if you go back about ten years since two thousand eight to two thousand thirteen, which is his uh, Breaking Bad stuff. Those are all the movies he's been in. Period. So, like I said, that and that's the other thing I would say: a movie star also shows up in a lot of movies. So I wouldn't even consider Keanu Reeves a movie star. Because he doesn't show yeah, up in enough fucking movies. That's why I said. He just does his own... And then when he does, it's kind of these like movies I mean, that you would never hear of. You're like, what, like what I said, is that, this? He's I didn't couple, even know he played this. Exactly. And so th that is like my difference of like... So for example, Kevin Hart, movie star. Rock, movie star. Even though he used to be a WWE and Kevin Hart yeah. is a comedian, no. they're both movie he's, stars. He's not a very good movie star though. Uh, the Rock's okay. He... He, I was about to say, like, The Rock's right now one of the highest paid no, sought-after actors just, in I'm Hollywood. No, I'm just saying he's just not the best, like, in my opinion, like, the best actor or whatever. You no, know, I mean, like, that's fine. But and, and he's, and he's only also one of those characters he's, he's that's doing typeset. All, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's, they're only picking him because they're doing all yeah, the Yeah, but so is Samuel and, Jackson. Is he not a good actor? Yeah, he's not. I mean, no, he's, yeah. actually, no, he has done a few He's done a few, things. but 90% of his roles, he just plays Sam yeah. L. Jackson. But The Rock, 100% all the way, <laughs> is done. Oh, actually, okay, I lied. See? The See? only one he probably did that was only ever, ever, ever good that he actually acted in was uh, Ground, uh, Grindhouse. I forgot he was in that. That's the only one. He was, like, the main lead in the whole thing. And, and the only reason why he, they picked him is because... 
he literally again he plays that stereotype of being big that kind of big and coach so, mean guy. Yeah, I don't know. I thought he did good, but he did in, good though. Um, I still like. What him was in that, that one? one? Uh, no, you're you're thinking. You said the wrong one. You said Grindhouse. I'm I thinking thought it of, was Grindhouse. No, Grindhouse is the fucking no. Uh, uh, Gridiron. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Gridiron. Gridiron. There we yep. go. Yep. I knew. I was like, wait a minute. He's not the fucking lead in Grindhouse. That's a fucking Quint- Quintino or Tarantino. Yeah, Quintino. yeah. That Tarantino. Quint- Why did I say Quintino? <laughs> His name is Quintino, baby. No, but um, yeah, I will agree- admit that is one where he, like I said, I he's and I, like did. I said, even though he is that big guy, he doesn't do any big guy stuff. No, 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 no. So he really, but st- they kind of still needed him to be that intimidating kind of. Uh, I feel like guy. he could have just like. Especially I don't feel like with that like, was physical, though. I felt like, like I said, it was same with Coach Carter. Like, Sam Jackson was intimidating. You didn't need was him to he, be That was physical. him, right? Yeah, that, that was, was him. him, right? Okay. In Coach Carter. Yeah. Um, See, and then after that, he was probably like, yeah, I don't need to do any more of these roles. I'm just going to do every role where I just yell and say, bad mom. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> uh, I love it. I was I was reading um some of the things which are like secret writers that uh movie actors put into their things and all the different ones. And uh, Samuel Jackson talks about it that he doesn't really have a writer, but he basically can do whatever the fuck he wants and make it's any changes he wants. Supposedly, he's it's Samuel written in Jackson. his contract that he can say that. Motherfucker, yeah. Oh, he time. wants. At least one time. He can say one any film. Um, but uh, that one, like I said, his the one that's not is like he says, like, I basically get what I want or I leave. Yeah. It's like, as I said, he's so big. And so sought after, he doesn't you know, have to you negotiate. You know who I see though? There's a good actor that uh, that I watched the other day again. That I love his acting. Um, Washington, uh, Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. Oh, Denzel movie. Washington. The although, movies. although, if you look at Denzel I know Washington, it's the same thing. It's but the like, same guy. But, like, every the, thing, but like, the thing is, like, he like does good acting for. He those does characters. also actually act well. But I will say, he's once again typecast. Yeah, yeah. There's so much typecasting, and and like I said, so we talk about the major typecasters, right? Like that. But we don't discuss, and that was. It also brings me back to that writer. They need to bring Denzel to be. Uh, uh, something they bring him in the Marvel Universe of DC <laughs> catch, him, catch him for Marvel I don't I want him in DC love C- C- or uh, I would love Edis uh, Elba Edris Elba's already do, uh, in Marvel though they want to do oh what's he doing he's a uh, fucking oh Hulk. yeah he's him <laughs> he's already in it's fucking he's Marvel got long hair and, he does, and the see, horns yeah, bro the horns see. throw it off yeah, more than and, anything and the eyes too he's got them weird he looks so different as Heimdall although he does like he takes what is a minor character in Heimdall in the movies at least and makes him like lovable and like yeah. important. Yeah, no, that's um, that's cool. I like that. But like I said, we talk about those big typecasts, right? Like that, but we never talk about ty- small typecasts like side roles, and they get typecast way more often in, in into way more movies than even the major roles. So like one of the ones that I thought was uh, interesting is I can't remember what director it was, either Scorsese or somebody else, but he had it written into his contract that every movie he directed had to have a part open for Hector Elizondo. Oh. And Elizondo didn't even know until the director died that that was the point, that was oh. what he did. But yeah, so that's why Elizondo is like a waiter or a hotel staff worker in like 90 plus movies. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. He has a huge IMDb list of appearances. And then the same thing is similar. There's this one guy who plays like the Mexican cholo thug. Every movie. Talking about Machete? <laughs> no, no. Machete got his own, but he's a major type yeah. This is a guy that you never learn his name, but he's in oh, every... You ta- I know you're talking about. You you're talking about talking the guy about. from Friday. He no 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 there, no. There's that there's that one me- bald Mexican. Yeah, guy. it is. Yeah, that I know who you're yeah. talking about. Right, I thought you were talking about the other guy. For no, a second, no, not the one that got Chico. I, no, not yeah. him. There, it's one of his brothers. Yeah, I think and it's he's, him. He's in every single. No, I know what you mean. It, I can't remember every Mexican name. film. And I just thought about it too because I was doing the the like I said the contract writer stuff to read all the contracts, all this other bullshit. And then I thought about it. And he's in Fast and the Furious. And one of he's in everything, yeah, dude. Like I said, make him play that solo. I wish I could fucking remember his name. I'm gonna actually just type. The guy that plays a every cello, cello, every cello in every, in every movie. movie. What are you talking about though? Yeah, he. I seen him recently. The other they, day like too. I said, there was a meme on it. It was like, "Hey, do you need someone playing a there Mexican he is right in there. That's movie?" Him. Yeah, that's him. Every fucking time. Noel G- uh, Guglielm. Guglielm. Damn, that's an interesting name. Yeah, that's him. He plays everything. Yeah, every. Like I said, <laughs> if you put it down, there's 196 there credits, dude. Like I said, they're not. 
major actors don't have that many credits. No. You know what I mean? And it's only a few he's, scenes, but like still. That's the thing. It's like, still, he's just lot. small, but he it's shows up. Like I said, if you go through, you will think of like, there'll be the movies you've never, like look at all these ones that are in production he's in. Yeah. There's there's we just, 40 plus films, we just want, 30 plus we films. We just want him to be our cholo. He does a good job. Um, but look, we'll go to the ones that are com- already out. Uh, the Mustang, the first month is free. The Mule, which is yeah, that's where I seen them. There we go. I just He's recently watched that too. American Nightmares, Dread Cross Country, A Boy Called Sailboat, Fade Away, Charlie Charlie, Wisdom of the Crowd, Chicago PD. He actually hasn't been in that much this year that I've heard about. Training Day. The TV series and the movie, I believe. Hmm. He's the dude who stabs the one cop in the eye or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, there's all ton of shit. Like I said, you can go down this list for a while. But I just thought that's funny. Is like, those guys are typecast way more often and severely, you know what I mean? To be like, yeah, we just need you to come over here and say, hey, what up, S.A.? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else? I can't. Can I improvise? Nah, that's that's what we want you to say. That's it. So maybe Holmes, if you want. <laughs> it's like, nah, bro. But no, I thought I just thought that was always interesting. Like, all these typesets. Like, there are some people who break out, but for, like, probably a good 50% of Hollywood or more, it's typeset, you know? They just got, it's like, hey, you play that guy. You play this guy pretty well. <laughs> Can I play him a little different? Nah. 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 That's it. That's, that's it. Get. Just do what I said. No, but um, I guess with that, we can move past our like opening, start talking about the stuff that's actually on our thing besides John Wick. Uh, well, you saw Detective Pikachu, so you can tell. Yeah, no, I liked it. Like I said, I, I liked how they made them. <sighs> like, you know, kind of like how they were able to bring him to life, you know? Yeah. The, and not make him look like you know, kiddish, you know? Yeah, too kiddish and cartoonish at the same time. Which like... is actually, people are like doing the reskins of Sonic. I think a lot of those people. People when they do the recent, it looks too much like the cartoon. It looks un like yeah. See, then like that's awkward. what they're doing. Then like, see, like it's okay so, a little bit. But that's like, cool. People but then, are like you're just literally just photo like just you know slap on what that's it. Okay. Yeah, it's like no creativity. Reason, like I said, like at least theirs is trying to come up with something different. But like, I mean, it wasn't a very great job. But still, like they... I said, it was better than the original. But it was just like, all right, well, you basically just like change some tones on a sonic picture like that doesn't gave that him looks... some teeth you gave him you gave him an actual split for his eyes now yeah. he doesn't have uh they changed the legs he doesn't he have uh, glove hands which is kind of weird if you think about it because like the thing is how would why? you do glove hands i that's yeah like because you're like why does he have you gloves know on the, like it would make sense it would make sense for like looney tunes right when it was yeah. all animation it made sense they could play with the gloves and do yeah because they oh, yeah they always used to they they, they kind of yeah when they did space jam they did that they kind of yeah. made and it's because you can play with the animation and stuff and that's fun it's like there's different things but, you can but, do like, you what can... are you gonna do with sonic and right in a real in a does live he, action does, like does he I take mean, the gloves it, off and... you know it'd be it would be yeah it'd be better if they had him do that like if he was getting ready you know like okay i'm gonna go fast i'm gonna pull my we put my my gloves on like Gotta my be gloves. I think those would be cool. Maybe if they had him as like a, like a redirector, like when he's moving so fast and he's to turn, he just grabs the ground and the gloves protect cool. his hand. See, like you gotta get, you like gotta you gotta give expl- a reason. You anything gotta give a reason works. We talked gloves. about this with the X Men costumes. Anything works if you fucking work at it. Like if if you just plop it down, of course it's not gonna fucking work. Like, but if you actually take time to build the story, like anything will work. You could you could make the hugest tale, like I said, of people were complaining big about Hulk and Infinity or like oh, they downgrade is like no, they went for a character route option. Yeah. What the Professor Hulk. Like I said, and I'm like, I am sorry you didn't get to see the Hulk smash. I yeah, mean, that was of one movies. of the things my friend was kinda of mad about. Yeah, everyone was but... like oh, the Hulk was just like, well, it's a good thing it wasn't a Hulk movie, huh? Yeah. They're like go watch the Hulk. He does plenty of that in the Hulk. And the Avengers. And the Avengers too. You know what I mean? We've seen the Hulk smash. Yeah. I'm done with that. This is like, there. the problem is people wanted World War Hulk and War Breaker Hulk and, and they want thing, Hulk to seem so powerful. Well, the other thing too, I think too, they, they just don't have really a lot of control with the rights with him still, really, just because no, Universal still owns half of him. Yep. And so I, think they I really think they kind of, they're kind of limited too on that part. Yeah. I think they, they actually own more than half. 
I think they the universal owns like they, 75%. Yeah, like they, I, it was, I think they own like control and shit. rights that they I think they held. Right, but that's the most important Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. no no no, yeah, no, that's what I'm like, saying though. They hold that one right, instead so the, of the actual They basically movie hold rights. right, they hold the last step and only important piece which is distribution and sales. Cuz no one's going to make a movie or a cartoon or anything that they can't sell. Yeah. Um which is like I said, it, was, it sucks because even if they, even if that was one percent, they control majority. They control. They decide what happens with the title. That's like, I feel sad. I wish we could get like a good Hulk movie. Well, but they talk about it. it was it Ruffalo talks about it in his interviews? He's like, they they say something about a TV show. Um, there's rumors um, about the She Hulk TV show now. Here I'd like to see a she, Disney Plus. She Hulk TV and show. I don't Mark, think I like and, the Hulk show. And Mark Ruffalo making appearances. Appearances every, cool. So often, right? There. That's fine. I don't think a Hulk show. Would be good now. Yeah. It was good in the 70s when mindless beating yeah. of people was really popular. I like to see a She Hulk, though. Better. She Hulk's Jennifer better because it's not just about mindless smashing yeah, and. They do the lawyer kind of route. Exactly. And... I'd love to see the fourth wall break shit. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because like that's. Because that. people but... are always vaunting Deadpool for it, but she's like the original fourth wall breaker. Yeah. So there, there's rumors of that, of her coming uh, to, the, to the small screen. And uh, him, like I said, making appearances. Oh, and uh, the Ru- the the Russo brothers just confirmed that Loki made an alternate time. Yeah, I heard that line. one. Uh, they actually confirmed a lot of stuff on alt- like what all the decisions people made changed. They actually didn't know anything about that multiverse stuff, though. When they came out the trailer, that was news to them. Oh, they yeah. Had, they had no idea that they were going to... I don't their think movie they are. Because the, the guy, the director of Spider-Man had already said that Mysterio is the villain. Actually, yeah, he said it straight up. See, there's a clip. Too. Now they said straight up. The director and creator said, huh. "Mysterio is fucking with him. Mysterio is the villain." Hmm. Which I thought was stupid because why set the plot and then reveal it? Yeah. But he literally said that. We'll and see, they already there's a clip it. out there too that actually they mention uh, that Earth that they're on. They, they mention a six six one six. Yeah, they actually yeah, mention it. A... And then he also mentions where he comes from, which is eight eight. Eight three one. Or sorry, I can't remember. Where uh, there's already speculation going around that 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 that's where uh, Spider-Man UK comes from. That'd be and, cool. Um, Although I don't think it would be a good idea. That's why some people are kind of like comparing the suit. If you look at his new suit, I'm like, eh, it doesn't really look too like it. Not very much. I mean, but, it looks new. It yeah, looks but cool. some people are are excited though for this uh, this multiverse kind of thing. I mean, I'm not, I'm sure that they. I don't know if the multiverse is bullshit. They just said that. Oh, the that yeah. Is a that really, I'm not kidding. And we already knew. I'm more excited yeah, about this multiverse stuff I'm, that they're introducing. I, don't know. I guess I am, and I'm not because one multiverse gets tricky. We've already have so many people bitching about the time travel from the Avengers, despite the fact that it's one of the most accurate de- depictions of time travel ever made, ever. Like I said, the the it's hard to explain, but like. Time. I think the one part that gets me too is the one where, you, okay, so you know Captain America, right, goes back in time, and mm. then he just says, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna." That's stay. the part. That's, that's the part. That, that's that the really plot me- hole. That really messes me up. Right that's there, that that's part. the only part actually in the whole and that's why thing I that can't breaks stand their rule. Time travel movie sometimes. I mean, so, but the thing is, the thing, I, I get over it though because I just say, "Okay, this is just what they say, and this is just the way I said, they're gonna." I'm they're I'm gonna watching it, science so. fiction. There needs to be su- su- some suspended disbelief, such as the suspended disbelief that there's a guy with a magic flying hammer out there. Yeah, so like that is kinda, not my biggest. I kind of like, just say, yeah, fuck it. It's that whatever. one is my thing, and that was one of my big problems with the movie is that plot hole because it's the only time plot hole. Like the how rest do you of it's do covered. That? Like how does he? It does It he... shouldn't. It shouldn't work. There are other theories. This and that. But like I said, because the thing work. is that they said that he wasn't gonna fuck with the timeline. It's not even so that. It can, it it's not even he wasn't the timeline that they made. Right. Now. It was, and that's not even a thing. What they they said and what and it and it is true. This is true, right? You you can't go back and change time. You literally physically can't. And that's can't. another thing too. That see that they he kind of. Ended up changing time by right. That's the, that's the only one. And then people are saying too. Well, hey, does does Agent Carter not help in that? <laughs> that show right. that happened, right? They're like, because and that's technically, the... I mean, it really, really, if he stayed, right, her whole life would have been. I mean, she still would have been. With Shield I've never and... seen the show, so I. Don't oh know. yeah, so, uh, that one you can't comment. She's just working for Shield and Agent Carter. Oh, okay. she's not looking well, for him or anything. They just Carter. assume he's dead. 
But then see, the thing is, if they just said, oh, well, he actually is, he never died. He's actually still Right, here. but she'd still be working for S.H.I.E.L.D. I like the idea that they made them old. Like I said, stuff, it, was, just saying, it was cool, I guess, but the problem was they broke their own they, rules. Yeah, see, there you go. That And like I said, it's the only scene in the whole movie that breaks the rules. That's the only one I people, can think of, And like, really. people can't, it's the only one. I've, I've broken it down, and it's because of how time travel works. If people don't understand how time works. People think time is like this no the, time is a dimension the thing is too that when like i said again movies kind of just they they set their own rules that's again how back to the future right that's that's my problem always... though is the avengers went with the real rules of time travel. Uh, okay the real rules of time travel basically work like this time imagine time is a sheet of paper right yeah if you change one side of this piece of paper right and push it down another part's going to arch up uh-huh. now imagine the multiverse is a giant stack yeah, of pieces of paper. Each layer is a... Right, and if you push this layer up, every layer in the stack moves up. And so you can change multiversal timelines, right? But time never changes. Time isn't... Time is fluid. It's all existing at once. Well, yeah, all time happens always, at the same instant. The way they try to say it, time is always set, too. You can't... It is and isn't. Like, time's not set. Time is... Time is time. Yeah. People imagine time as a movement, as a passing. It's not. It's a dimension, just like up and down, forward and back. Up and down, forward and back don't change. You move through up and down, forward and back. But up and down and forward and back are always there. You know what I mean? And time's like that. Time is always there. Yeah. The same, relatively speaking, right? Let's say somebody sat on the outside of time. All of time happens all at once at the same time. There's a a cool book uh, section in uh, the book... Uh, Slaughterhouse Five that discusses it. Uh, they discuss an alien race called the Trafalgorians, and they live in the fourth dimension. They can see all of time all at once. And hmm. he talks about it like there's one part that really hits me. Is like, you know, how does you know the humans are going to destroy the world? And he's like, ah, oh, no, don't worry about that. You guys don't destroy the world. We do. He's like, well, aren't you aren't you worried about it? Aren't you like? No, because all time happens at the same time. I'm here, and I'm at the moment of my birth, and the moment of my death, and the moment, like, Mm -hmm. you move through time, time doesn't move. You know what I mean? So people don't understand that. Time is not set, but it is continuous. It is, it's an object, it's an item. One change in time changes all of time. It's a fucking, it's and a weird concept. And that's hard to like put into a movie. That's yeah, so, like, right. Like you can't explain that. Like they did a that, good job with why, the paper. Again, like the Didn't they mo- do like a paper thing where they're like, this is time. No, they, they try to explain it. Their, see, that's the thing. They kind of did their own rules a little bit. They're like, okay. Cause they did say at one time, remember, cause they were out, they were saying like, well, isn't that time travel? And he's like, oh, well, uh, no. And then he goes, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like time travel. And then, then he's, he goes on to saying something about, like I said, they that, break that, well, it down. He goes like, "Well, how how are you going to do this? Then we're going to they do break this. it down perfectly. Their explanation of no, time yeah, travel good. in the movie is perfect. They just fuck it up with that one no, scene yeah. cap. The rest of it, even like I said, you can change anything. Like I said, that Loki said we. I have spoilers listed in the thing too because we're past the spoiler ban. But so like the fact that Loki gets away with the Tesseract, yes, it makes a new multiverse. It doesn't affect their timeline at all. In their timeline, no, that's again, Loki that's still has the t- yeah, Tesseract. Again, still like has the- yeah, you can never. It, it's always just and so be. the only it's- part they break is that one fucking part with Cap, and it pisses me off because it's the only one. Like I said every other instance, as long as he brings the stone if, back. The thing is. If- it would have been different if that, like, he didn't show up with them. If he then he showed up somewhere else in his own time, because at exactly. that point the, the he, thing, he split the point, up. The he point would have been better me. would to be have left the shield with a note on it saying, "This is for you, Sam. I'm not gonna make it back." But even that wouldn't work because you can't change that timeline. Now, someone else from another time, and that's the only other explanation that you could give as a possible multiversal explanation is that another version of Cap. Came in, and traveled started. to the different dimension, stayed there, decided to come forward, <sighs> and just happened. To... Now, theoretically, in multiverse, the way the multiverse and parallel worlds work, that's actually really feasibly possible. Everything's happening, all possible instances, right, of time. Every possible action and consequence happens at the s- all at the same yeah. time across the multiverse. That's how I always see it. I always see like, and but the the so it's possible, right? But it's infinitesimally co- coincidental that another cap would have traveled 
into his time. Like, the just the odds, right? If there's an infinite number of yeah. multiverses, what are the odds that the, another Cap with the same background and same original multiverse yeah. as this Cap I mean, also there, went back in there, time? There's, there's they fucked it up. They there's literally up. so many, like, I mean, that's why I like Rick and Marty, too, where they have, like, so many dimensions. Yes. They do pretty good job of like you know saying there's there's multi-dimensions and and there's just so many of you so many of, you know and, yeah. and this happens here now and there and it's funny like oh well this whole planet's just full of toilets of people yeah, like, no. <laughs> and literally that's multiverse theory the multiverse theory and the the laws of infinite probability state that anything could I, happen that was my age. favorite scene was when they did that they did the chairs they did the, yeah, phones, the on phones on chairs they, eating they, people, they, yeah. people eating phones on chairs <laughs> would you like some phones sketty is like yeah that was cool that, and that's one thing i like about rick and morty is even though the science a lot of the science in rick and morty is actually garbage yeah they they have a lot of garbage science or not explained science that's just science fiction yeah and yeah people don't know point. the difference so they can't make the cut no. of like Oh wait, no. This is total sometimes bullshit. you can. Yeah, you could tell. Like, but if you have you read uh, the Ant Man and uh, the Wasp miniseries, uh, you gotta that. read that. I gotta that read was such it. a good. Job. How is the Unstoppable he, Wasp? I've heard that one's okay. I haven't read it yet, but I, I, I love that features. miniseries so good because you could tell he did his research when he wrote that. He because they went into like so much of like the subatomic going into this. And he explained it so well and so, though, and I'm like Jesus, like. It didn't sound like he just pulled the shit out of his head. Right. <laughs> and so that was another one that... It was a science one, right? Where they're talking about the breaking down the science of the MCU and Marvel Comics. And one of the ones they get me is always Ant-Man. Mm -hmm. So they talk about, you know, the how they shrink molecules. And the fucked up part is they are, they're like left center of real science, right? Mm -hmm. They're just... Just away from it. Just not quite there. Because he talks about it as if he can... Like... It, it is and isn't the way they say, right? They say they shrink the space in between the atom, right? That's not true because atoms are actually defined by that space. But he talks about it. Uh, the Planck value of atoms controls like how their density and stuff is viewed as well as like their uh, scaling. Mm -hmm. And so if you change the Planck constant, you could shrink something down while maintaining... This, the density thing, yeah. as well as make it bigger and increasing density but they don't explain that in the comments like i said there's a lot of that stuff that really bridges on science and science fiction you can and, tell some of the writers here they go do oh, some yeah. of their research before oh, yeah. they write a, this a lot and... of it is done well and like especially depending on which character you're reading obviously like the hulk obviously you're not going to get a lot of science out of that they're, yeah now they're doing like magic even before you now. didn't really now you got you gamma radiation yeah, this no, no, no. is like they just kind of made gamma radiation the catch all be oh yeah 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 but now what? like they're doing gamma radiation is now magic like, magic yeah. which i kind of like this i idea. like i actually like it way better because one it gives and like, they explained it how they how it kind of was magic and i, I kind of like this i like it was better this idea because um, that it, explains why you know he can see ghosts and right the astral projection thing was always one of those off abilities that, that like why the fuck can do that <laughs> yeah why can he see ghosts this makes no fucking sense I don't understand like and then he goes and, to hell and he he kills his dad in hell and you're like what the <laughs> like why is that I can get it it does make a lot more sense and on it like I said even from a science standpoint like gamma radiation yes is along the lines of mutation you gotta read you. the next issue I do I'm a little it? no I'm what still on the last one uh, 16, 17. Okay, good. So you read 16 then and did you ha see what happened at the very end? What he ended up being? When yes. They, when they when they put on the, the lights yeah. and he turned back into Bruce Banner and then he said that yeah, like, thing at the very end. Like, I love that because that ain't me. And I was like, yes, it's a different one. Yes, there's so many. Mr. Joe, Don't fix it. Yep. I love I like, the multi, the yeah, you multi read, personality. Yeah, 17. Yeah. Oh, I love that they're going more into this because I actually want to go read some of those older Paul James. I think he's the one that kind of established He that, does uh, some of them. That, he's not or, the only one, but he's, he's introduces a lot of I them. I think, yeah, but if you read his run, Paul Jenkins, his, uh, I think it was the 2000 run Hulk. Uh, he goes really into like the psychosis of Hulk and which I like and, better um, because that's what it's like. People all, always end up with the smash. There's a, lot a scene Hulk. you gotta read it. It's so fucking awesome. I read a little bit of it. He actually is like trapped in his mind, right? And he sees this big, gigantic looking monster. It doesn't even look like the Hulk. It's like evil looking, and it's called the Guilt Hulk. And oh yeah, all, I know and the it's all Hulk. and it's all it's all the guilt that he's you know just held up and bought on side and this is just another persona of him then he goes deeper into it and and it shows all these like cages oh yeah and you're just like there's so many you're like 
there's so many different like personalities. Yeah. Oh, like Jesus, they could go forever if they wanted. And then he gets to the very end, and then it's this one, the Devil Hulk. And you're like, you know, oh my god, this is like supposed to be the most like the worst and the, Hulk, the yeah. worst Hulk ever in the ever ever. Yeah. And I like they're getting into that now, like with this bringing with the Marta Hulk stuff. That's like, good. Kind of, I like you know, that they. I like that they're re referencing. That they're not just pulling it out of like their ass. Yeah. Like, like don't get me wrong, new stuff is cool yeah but it's better when it's backed I, up by source material and i love and that they're shit. making new stuff but they're also bringing you know history of you know right and that's what i mean like new shit's cool right so like the new stuff with null and the symbiote is cool but it wouldn't be that cool if it wasn't tied into marvel history and like there are hints and little pieces yeah. around that can kind of tell you oh no this was always like yeah they've always been from space <laughs> no they've always i love that they just kind of do that they're like oh well, you know what guys why didn't we just do, like the retconning, that's just, yeah, that's just, but it's different. But they do it's, a good job. It's good the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not retconning. Like, well, we're just gonna say that Superman did this now like, and know, now. Yeah, I know what you mean by like no, because at first it was it was they were supposed to be their own people and they had their own planet. Right. But then they end up going into like no, they actually don't have their own planet, and that planet's actually null his fucking self. The whole thing, he's just hiding inside. Yeah. And they've just trapped him in there and. Yeah, it I was like really good. Like too. I said, they, it was it's builds instead of detracting. Yeah. And I think that's the important part of retconning. And it it, it, it goes along with the rules of improvising. And it, there is no no in improvising. There is yes and. That's it. So instead of saying no, that planet's, you know, not their planet, they said, yes, that's their planet. And actually, it's the body of Noel that they've encased to make it their and, planet. And it wasn't, have, a, and they have a god, <laughs> right? Right, exactly. And so, they, and they've done it with so many things. When you think, when you go back and you like start, so like one of my big examples, even, and like people will get angry, but Thor's hammer, Thor's hammer has always been shown as like this kind of semi mystical. I, like, I love piece. the and, last run, I like the, the towards the end, like Jason Aaron's run. Yeah, with when, Jane. With Jane. Yeah. How where they kind of explain the storm. Yes, I and it's like, that. this is where Mjolnir is actually for and why Mjolnir is Mjolnir as opposed to any of the other Uru the, 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 the most powerful right. galaxy storm ever. That and then created. the, the and, fun part about that too for me was then I had to go back and because they did more stuff later with different stuff and read about a lot of the expanded Asgard stuff. So, like, for example, uh, Storm Maker, like Storm had a hammer at one point. Uh, that's supposed to be uh, what's this uh, hammers, right? Uh, Loki made the hammer, but okay, that's for no. You're thinking of Storm Breaker. Yeah, Storm Breaker. Storm Breaker that's, is that's what Beta Ray Bills. Beta Ray Bills. Okay. Uh, or no, that yeah, Storm Breaker. Storm Maker Ooh, okay. is a hammer that Loki made for Storm. Huh. And she oh, goes okay, head to yeah, head. because she did have uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She did because I remember reading. Uh, there's a X-Men new... gold. Yeah, yes, she, and they she brought her back. back. Yeah, yeah she came like, back. call to me. Yeah, she was, they were trying to make her like the... I didn't really like that arc too much. It was okay. I but... thought it was fine because it was for that and it was really yeah, just to fight that really one bad. god character. I think it kind of... If but... they'd have kept it that way... They did keep it a little bit, but they she got rid of the hammer fairly really quick. quick. Uh, see, that... At the same time, it's one of those ones like, I really like her with the hammer. No, she's that was such cool. A I did like that. It was cool. It. Because she's already got that like god... She's like, you know, I'm a goddess. I'm... I mm -hmm. am immune as way, but I am the storm. I've been worshipped. I've been above this shit. <laughs> like, so, I, yeah, I like that that kind of stuff. That was too. good. Did you read uh, the free comic book day uh, Carnage one yet? No, I haven't checked it out so yet. So that one, there, uh, if you read that, that sets up uh, Absolute Carnage already, and it's it's gonna be good already. I can tell. Uh, again, I he, hope he's so. Trying the last to... Venom arc was not not that Venom, but the uh, Venom verse arc. Yeah, wasn't like that great, that right? The, the poisons were a little better. I like that they brought the poisons. That was a cool concept, but, but they didn't do a very good. It didn't job do of justice. Executing no, it, yeah, the it was the other thing. It was was very um. Uh, I kind of felt just thrown together, honestly. Yeah, to it, it, it felt like thrown together, and then there wasn't a lot of scaling. So like, kind of like capitalizing. On one of the big things that fucks with me is power scaling for that specific series. They show a lot of characters in different styles. And the one that they amp to a ridiculous portion, and I can't even figure out how they could possibly like do this and then make the story go on, was Kaiju Kid. So oh, remember when yeah, he shows up? Yeah. His fucking monsters defeat a poisoned out Hyperion, a poisoned out, like three giant huge names poisoned out, so they should already that. be powerful and then some, and they just wipe them out. 
which is an insane level I think they were trying to make his character more, but then again, it's like, they're just monsters. They shouldn't be able to ruin <laughs> Like, I mean, and it's okay if they're set that way, but then the rest of the series, they're not. They're kind of like throwaways. Oh, they're yeah, not at that as point. strong as they're... At that point, they were just kind of used for that one scene, and they were like, right, okay, we're... Like I said, there's one scene where I'm just like, he really just like thrashed Hyperion, like one shot him. And I was like, that's impressive like i want kid kaiju to be this kind of like because i like the concept i like the idea. concept but i think his power comes less from like the fact that all right yeah the monsters are powerful than the fact like i can make any monster i want just like bring it here right now yeah. yeah just right now and just and even ones that it is like i said i can bring fiend fang foom here yeah now like, that's cool i like that but then right and that's it's hard to write that character I, think. I feel like it's it is and isn't like it's like so then you stop him because i read a few of the him. monsters in the nation they they, they try to I don't know. They try to do like that. Did you read his that, solo series at all? Yeah, yeah. That's the one I tried. They try to do like this monster kind of book where he goes and he finds like these monsters. and But then he ends up like they're not really monsters. They were kind of, they just, the way they, they, they seen them, they were monsters. But really they, there was something really going on in the background that like. It was still monsters, but. No, I, yeah, it was still monster but but like. I don't know, they try to do, like, good writing of, like, oh, there's more to just the monster than just them destroying everything. And There uh, was, I mean, there was a nice story behind it. It wasn't Like, bad. the B one, remember, he ends up being friends with the <laughs> and all that stuff. And... Yeah, I mean, like I said, there was writing in it, but like I said, my problem was more of the power scaling. Like, it's okay to give him this power, right? That some of these monsters, that was deal-withable in ways. Because then you can either just attack the kid, keep him from summoning monsters, or the monsters themselves are of Finite scale, like or, Fing Fang Foom strong, but the Hulk will knock Fing yeah. Fang Foom straight to or the moon. Or like every monsters time. are, he only pulls out the monsters he needs to for that that right. time. But the problem or is like when he had these too. new monsters that are already like OP powerful. Like any monster that can cut Hyperion in half is bullshit. See, I, have to, I have to read that again. I can't remember. See, it's, I read so much. You just like it, I know. It's sometimes tough. you forget. You're like, wait, did, I don't it's remember. Tough. That one, always, <laughs> that one only sticks out to me because in my mind, I'm like. That's bullshit. Maybe that's why I didn't, it just didn't, yeah, I probably just didn't like. It's a very passing, it's a cover. It's it's a scene. They don't address it or anything. It's a scene of him showing Maybe up at the poison the fight. Okay. And he goes, bam, bam, and Hyperion's okay. cut in that's half. And fucking was. Thor or someone or whoever's been poisoned out is cut in half. And it's just like, did he just cut out, cut in half a fucking roided out I did like the Hyperion. monsters though. Like, the I monsters liked, were great. I like the ideas yeah. of Even his were. new monsters. No, the new monsters his, are the ones I love. Yeah. But, his uh, new monster that's my favorite is, uh, fuck, what's his name? Scrug, Scrag, Scab? Scab Yeah, or he's something. the one that talks the in polite third one. person, right? Doesn't he talk in third yes, person? Yes, he talks in third person, but he's also very... Uh... No, the... Oh, no, that one. No, yeah. I'm thinking it's, of it's the lady. Same, she talks in... No, yeah, you're um, thinking of a different one. I'm she... thinking of uh, Kaiju Kid. Oh, she uses... Uh, adge... No, not adjectives. She uses like a... She'll be... She's like a thesaurus to me. Yeah, yeah. she She'll like say one word and then she'll be like kill destroy or you know uh d d uh, demolish in like one sentence yeah she'll be like, like she's like a thesaurus that's the thesaurus thesaurus <laughs> fred stomp growl growl fidge no so like this one is the one i'm talking about scrag yeah i like him too scrag he my was favorite. like the last one that they did before they ended the the series that was the one where they went to go do the bees yeah that scrag dies actually he's the series. A, does he die yep. i thought no they brought him back though yeah he's, he's like a little bug little, yeah there we go yeah. Yeah, yeah but he does die yeah he yeah, just yeah. comes back as a little bug but yeah i love scrag but not because of uh no I, like his his design's cool too but like, no, I said, like he the talks way he in is, the third I like person the way he is. and then he's like a uh it's it's like it's so re it's hard to explain he's like a nice guy but he's like a forcefully nice guy like he's like you will be healthy and so says the dominant scrag or some shit like yeah oh, no mortal world no and lament no the mighty scrag wishes there was a peaceful resolution to this conflict like shit like that like i said i could just make a whole book of just scrag quotes i have him on some of the comic convo stuff so yeah there's a I mean, I've been I've been liking some of that stuff there. He he was a good character. Just we'll see what they do with him. I'd love to see. Like I said, he's it's not like he's very like deep. They try to anything, like but you good. know they try to make him popular. You can see they like they uh, really pushed pushed for they him. They definitely did. I I feel like they didn't put all of their eggs in the bed. Like they said because right, we're gonna Monsters make this. Yeah, then they, then they did with his mini series. Then that I don't think a... his mini series or not mini series. Is, uh, it was supposed to be an ongoing, but yeah. it didn't look like it did good in no, sales. Didn't do well. And then they try to bring him back in like these kind of like side stories here and there. And now it kind of I haven't really been seeing him anywhere really. The last thing I seen him was in um, was it that Secret Warriors book? 
I've seen him since Secret Warriors for sure. Um, but he doesn't show up a lot. One, because he's too powerful. Two, like you said, he just didn't end up being that popular character. I feel like that while they did right, I feel like that yes, they spent that time right, but I feel like they're not act. They didn't put. As Does that mean they effort. did a big old event for him? <laughs> <laughs> they did, but that event was could just be an event in itself. Like, yeah, yeah. There are but plenty I, of I really feel like they were trying to do to so like get for example, uh, Civil War Two. Ulysses is the star of Civil War Two, but he don't make it out of Civil War Two. Yeah, and I feel like he was. I feel like he's actually supposed to play a bigger part, like I, in the end. But then they ended up like, damn, this guy didn't do good. We're, we can't use him nowhere. I feel Don't like think. they did just write him off. Which I, is funny because really, I feel honestly, like he there was, was a liked I, There was really some scenes in there where I, he like talked about some big, big things and they were going to make him like... he's gonna Well, I mean, he did the prediction of Secret Empire and shit. That was his big... Yeah, but then he like... There was one scene, remember, he like seen even... You know, some of the future plans that Marvel's had. Yeah, that was that stuff. last scene, though, where and he's... Then, and I think I that know, was War of the Realms. Just to me, the, the way they wrote him... I'd have to I go back I really look. felt like that he, they were going to use him in other things. And then at the very end, once the, the event was over, they were like, yeah, no. The problem is, once again, those future <laughs> predicting... Right? The, 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 there are certain characters that are just hard to write for. And any character that can accurately predict the future... And then they just characters. didn't do. A, I don't know. To me, he was not that great of a. I character. actually really liked him. As did a you? Yeah, I enjoyed because he was like a character that didn't have a stake. Like he was a character. He was. It was kind of like that great power thing where he's just like shoved on you and you have like zero. Yeah, and he was zero. Just, he was merit. just this guy who was just like a regular Joe Schmo. I like then... that though because he was like caught, in, and that was what made it good. Was the Civil he War? He really part. didn't feel like a superhero to me. They no, tried to. I don't they think they did. It, Remember I don't when, feel like they when they, they had uh, when they when they had him with uh, what's his name? Uh, Karnak. Karnak. Remember yeah, but that's just to, teach to develop his be... powers though. That's not to teach him how to be a superhero. And then they even had him wear like a super suit at the very end of it. Like, yeah, they have and everyone wear a super and I'm like, suit yeah, at the end of it. He's like, not, he's every, not very that's super, though, to me. He's just. I don't think guy. they ever made him try to be, though. Like, he's never depicted as, like, this guy's going to be a superhero. Just he's a plot device. Clothing. Don't the regular. Don't see. put him in super clothing. Right, I'll, 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 give you the regular, <laughs> I'll give you the super clothing part. But if you go that route, how many other people get super clothing who aren't mm. super? Like, come on. That, that is, he's not the only person who's ever gotten a super. A super suit without actually doing anything super like think of all of aim and hydra yeah but then that's that's to me that's more of just like uh that's like a ups you know outfit oh. you're just like you're a worker that you gotta wear that <laughs> but uh let's see who else has, there's other people yeah no I, there's tons of people who dress really, up yeah, with no powers yeah. but uh I, I like I said, I, can feel, I just didn't th feel like they were making him out to be that way. I always felt like he was the kid caught in the crossfire, which was my what yeah, I liked about him. And he was done with. Yeah, like I said, I would like to see him stick around, but I don't and, think they will. Though I think no, he's really, done. He's I gone. Think that's really it. They, they mean, if they ever do bring him back, it will be as that omnipotent character. Again. See, that was again. Theory. Remember, because they kind of again made him this big. Old, the Watcher even came to him, and right. Then, like, and I wonder how exactly that's. But that was how I, they I, took I, him like, out of the story, though. Yeah, again, that yeah. was the same part where it's like, oh, you've seen the future and like too much. Sorry, come with us. See, that's why I told you. I felt like he was going to do more because they took him I, that way. But then... I didn't feel... I felt as soon as the Watchers took it because the Watchers then, don't interfere. Yeah, no, no, no. So as soon except as the Watchers... For, except for uh, uh, Uatu. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. He's yeah. the only... Like, there's him and one other Watcher and they're the only ones God, who have, like, ever... Out. Yeah. And, <laughs> and Watu gets punished frequently for the shit he does. Oh, like, yeah. The Watchers are always... Yeah, he's a fuck uh, up. ...giving him shit. He's a fuck up. He is. <laughs> he's a fuck up that saves our world, but he's a fuck up. <laughs> I love it too, though, because they have they actually my favorite depiction of the Watcher is uh, in the Avengers animated series. I forget which one, but they depict him and they're fighting Thanos to keep him away from the Infinity I Stones. See, maybe see the like, yeah. And, it, and he's basically basically I can't remember who it is that's up there. It's like Hawkeye or somebody else, and they're just talking mad shit to him. He's like, "Are you going to do anything but stand there?" And he's just like. Just like literally, he's like, I cannot interfere. And then later, I can't remember. Someone punches him in the face or something. But which which one did I read that was really funny? A comic where they were talking about the Watchers. And let's see, I can't think of that one. It was a good funny one too, though. They were kind of then they were talking about the other ones and they talked about him being the mess up all the time and always having to come and uh, yeah, clean fix up his, his mess. Shit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they do. They have to give they give Uwadu a lot of shit and he deserves it. Um, 
Let's see, what else do we got? We got a couple minutes. Is there anything yeah. else we want I mean, to run over? Like, if you got to read Margot Hulk, because they're doing good things again now, I feel like now it's starting to pick up again. It was I th- a little I feel slow like after it, they finished that the Devil, hell thing. Yeah. And it was those, I think, maybe three Even then, after. I feel like it was kind of slow, but not really. It was like build-up. It no, was no, no, like that's what it is. It's build-up. But, but now I'm excited now that Even the build-up's then, over. And, the, and that's and so like, there's my into... example of like good. So like, you can have build-up, right? Those couple of chapters after that are built up there's still tons of action in that betty gets shot oh, yeah, in the yeah, head yeah. Fucking, oh no that's uh, still pretty good like all those those are good like oh what, what moments for just that second oh yeah. oh 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 and then and that's what you need in build up like build up needs anticipation and tension and like if yeah. you just have build up for 50 minutes or 40 chapters or 10 chapters however many long for whatever either one and that's any movie any TV show, any series, the Black Summer is really guilty of that. The the zombie one, like I said, it'd yeah. be an amazing show if they just took out all that stupid dramatic tension that doesn't actually resolve itself. Like literally, there's one where it's like the whole episode's dramatic tension with zero resolution. Like maybe one instance where you're just like ah, and the rest of it's just like creepy music goes around hallway door, goes around hallway door, creepy music. Creepy music. Yeah. What was that? What was that? <laughs> You know what I mean? That's cool for a little while. Mm-hmm. Not so, forever. But I am excited now, though, that... Yeah, it's no, good. the build Have you checked out, good have you checked out uh, the... Fuck, what's it called? Hulk Marines? Yeah, I've actually been liking that. I, I thought it was my okay. Fa- my, oh, my favorite was the first issue, because the I love the Master. I, I'm a few, huge fan of the Master, after reading the mas- that first issue. The Master is always good, yeah. Because that one scene where he's locked up, and then you're like, well, how the fuck is this guy going to get out? He, they're not going to give him that thing. He's got this piece of paper that he wants. And then that's all he needs is a piece of paper. He he calculates it so perfect that he throws the freaking yeah. paper. And magically, he, his calculations okay. are just so on. For that, a second, I thought you were thinking, you're talking about the leader. My oh, friend. sorry. The leader. There we go. <laughs> you I'm got sorry. me fucked up. I'm like, no, I'm wait, sorry, what series is this? And I'm, I'm sorry, like, oh, sorry. okay, I know which one no, you're talking I forgot. Yeah, but where leader. he just has it, it was like, Yep, this is all I need to kill all of you. He's just so smart. I love that. And that's how he should be. And depicted. then he shanked him with the paper. I'm like, oh my gosh. That was that now I'm, was fan, now I'm the fan of the leader. The, the only thing I didn't like for so far from that series is when you meet What's Her Fuck again? Oh. From the Hulk yeah, Marine series. And then kinda... she's like the equal of the leader. I'm like, mm. he is gamma Lee enhanced. He is if as it's supposed to be, right? Yeah. If the Hulk is the strongest one there is, the leader is the smartest yeah. one there is. I, That's how it's supposed to work. I guess they're just trying to make her smart too. I know, but it pisses me the fuck off. Up with the idea of, it, like, it's the same. It's Hulk the same being. thing with Captain Marvel in the infin- or in Endgame. She is not that strong. Stop buffing characters up beyond their actual power level to make one moment in a fucking series, which destroys the rest of time continuum. Like, literally, that destroys the rest of their time afterwards. Like yeah. I said, Captain Marvel's just too damn strong. She can headbutt Thanos and win. Who the fuck's going to fight her? Yeah. Who? Name me. Yeah. Galactus? Okay, that's like an end-all, be-all character. There are not many characters after Galactus. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Then you get Eternity and, like, uh, Marquee of Death and shit. Mm-hmm. That's, that's that level you get to at that point. And whatever, what was the one... Uh, do you remember the name of the universe or whatever before the real, the main mark, the one from the Ultimates? Remember the the, oh, the original Marvel universe that gets a name and then is enslaving the regular Marvel universe? No, now it's actually not bringing any. I can't remember its fucking name, but you you it's you remember how in the Ultimates they talk about that there's the the something outside the universe chaining it uh-huh. and it ends up oh being you're talking about the Ultimus too yeah 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 yeah, that, yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what the fuck I can't no, they remember called the him. name no they called him it was like the void or the it wasn't the void but I know it, it's something like that Ultimates to villain also because he was supposed to be like the, the whole multiverse wasn't he and he had eternity living within him because he was literally everything. Well, they talk about it. He was the original multiverse, and then the, he makes the Celestials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There and then the Celestials yeah. betray him. There we go. I always like that run. I'm surprised that really, one never. I can't believe it. Oh, that come one never on. really No one up. cares about this Ultimates. Yeah, I don't know why nobody really caught on to that one very much. And that's the same guy who's doing Immortal Hulk. 
Is it? I didn't know that. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I'll, I'll, that's why I picked it up on the Mortal. I was like, oh, oh I always just pick up Hulk. Titles. That that too, probably. I think I was like, it's a Hulk. And that I was happy it. that they're bringing back Bruce Banner because I was kind of getting tired. Uh, of the I Hulk, like totally Amadeus obvious. show fine, but, but I, I didn't like my my Hulk like that no more. I was like, okay, I'm over this. I want I want a good and and he got it. He brings first it. Good. firmament. There you go. That was that was his fucking name. God, that was such a tough one to remember because that's kind of like a name that you don't really. Yeah. I actually and it's so fucked up. It pissed me off because they uh, I wrote a fucking fan novel based on that on oh. uh, the concept of prior Marvel universes right or multiverses existing and linked it through the century since I wanted to fucking keep amping him <laughs> and it pissed me off because I was like alright this is how this is gonna work there's gonna be this whole like thing and then they did some new shit with the century and fucked my story <laughs> I, I like that centuries like that though now. the I new love, century I love is cool. that Jeff the, the, Lemire the, went that route I thought like... the merge century and that was part of my there, I like I said, I have entire lines of dialogue written between them where it's like, it's all right, we need to writing. merge together. Because he was just like, okay, I actually know... think that series is trash though. Really, I yeah, like that it's one. It's bad. That's why, it, it, like, even as a miniseries, it didn't do well in sales. I love that. Miniseries. I thought it was so bad. That was good. It's, it's I think really the gritty, concepts, really the concepts are me. well, but it's I feel like it's written poorly. Like the so like, and that's the difference. So when I say written poorly, I feel like the dialogue and scenes are shit. The story is awesome. Right, the story of all right, uh, whatever his fucking sidekick's name is, Scout wants to be the new thing, and then you introduce a century yeah, villain that's that you've never had. Been like that, because you know, I, because you know who that the writer writing is, right? is crap. Do you know bro. who that writer is? Nah. he does Black Hammer. That's, yeah, he that's doesn't have Jeff, good dialogue either. Actually, that's Jeff Lemire. Yeah, he doesn't have good dialogue in it. Black Hammer either. I pick up Black Hammer has he really does. shitty. Uh, the Black dialogue. Hammer just got picked up by Legendary. Well, that's good. I'm glad it did. But like I said, that Black Hammer is another case where it's got good I've story but Black bad Hammer writing. Still. Like it just has bad writing in there. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just like his writing style. To me, I don't know. I, I like, like that I, one. I picked it, all up, of the uh, interactions Putana's, between characters uh, feel forced. Good one. And like, Ooh, Gideon Falls is. Oh my gosh, I'm loving Gideon Falls. I haven't by checked him. it out still. It's a horror book he's writing, and that's. I've heard that, that one also got picked up too. Now I'm afraid though that it's going to be the same thing. Like I said, I feel like he has good stories and you're going to read dialogue. this and you're going to be like, what the. Fuck? I bet you I probably still say the same thing though, because like I said, the story has nothing to do with the writing. The storyboard is can be boarded with zero words. What else? Oh, he does the descender too as well. Never I, I read that one. That was. I said that so far the old, I've never one. checked the only, any of his other stuff that you mentioned out except for Black Hammer, which I like, but only confirms like that also has really bad dialogue, like writing, mm. this and the scenes. Yeah, because he's one of the top, the like scenes. one of the top writers out there. Him, Jeff Lemire now. Al Ewing, Tawny Cates now is on that list. Yep. Like I said, I'd have to check out some more of them because, like I said, Black Hammer he so did far another is the book only one I've heard. Read that got option two as well. Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth. <laughs> I think it's it's. Just, I haven't checked it out myself, but it's. Like I said, I'm here. What I'm hearing is he has good ideas, right? Which is why they get picked up for storyboards and things. But it doesn't sound like he's got the best dialogue because none of these comics seem to be let long lasting. He did. Uh, he did that Thanos run. Which the, one? The, the end. The, the, the no, not that one. The the one right before Donny Cates finished it, uh, when it came out again. There was one one book where he, uh, there was literally no dialogue to the whole thing, and it was just him on the planet, like just alone, because he he's been he's been beaten. To his... Let's see. I want to see which one because I've read most all of the things. That, yeah, comics. it was it was literally like two years ago, last year. It was the run right when Cosmic Ghost Riders coming in. But Jeff Lemire, I think, did one through ten, and then after ten, Donny Cates came in and did eleven through sixteen. Imagine that's probably a better one. My internet is not liking me right now. Okay. Make it a little more specific there. Oh, yeah. You can just, yeah, probably Jeff Samir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got... Essex um, County, Underwater Welder, Nobody. Yeah. Descender is a good one. I Heard love one. Descender. Heard of that one. I know Bloodshot. Uh, seen some of those? I've heard of them. Oh, yeah. That's another good one. Tree. AD Tree. That's another good one that he did. Yeah. Uh, the AD After Death. That's what it's called. It's AD to the left a little bit more. Oh, this one. Yeah. Nope. That's... Never heard of it. <laughs> it's like... I was just looking through it, like, haven't heard of it. Gideon Falls, it, there's Gideon Falls. So Sweet good, tooth. so good. I said, I've heard, I've heard of this one, never read it. I haven't even heard of most of these. There's I'm, a lot I'm of, black. Totally he's been honest. doing a lot of spinoffs on the Black this Hammer. One, Thanos. Yeah, that's the, um, that was his most recent one. Nope, once again, yeah, I can confirm. Good story, bad dialogue. So, like, this is the one, one where he, he fights Thane, and the dialogue is ass. 
Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Where, yeah, and then he goes to the gua, the god, the god Corey, Corey and yep. stuff and all like that. I said the stories are good, but that like when you read the dialogue, try to say any of the shit he says out loud, mm -hmm. back and forth, and that's how you'll know whether dialogue is like in sync. If a dialogue can be said out loud and it sounds natural and it does well, it's probably good dialogue. If you say dialogue out loud and it sounds like you're fucking farting out sentences, it's probably not good dialogue. Like I said, I'd have to break them down, but or sweet tooth. Said once again, never heard of it. Uh, the Green Arrow and Animal Man. I heard. Oh, this isn't the same uh, Animal Man I'm thinking of. Yeah, so far I've only heard of a couple and only read one of all these. But well, not including Thanos. So I can only judge on those two so far. And like I said, the stories on those are amazing. But Plutano's not on there. The, uh, I like Plutano. Yep, I haven't checked that one out. This one looks interesting, actually, with a nobody. The Descender was uh, pretty good too. That's one of my favorite Underwater ones. Underwater welder. That seems like a in, like too mundane to be what it's actually about. You know what I mean? Well, I think we're almost at the end of our time, and we're basically frame cutting, so we might as well drop it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, thank you guys, everyone. Uh, uh, doesn't look like we had any enough viewers to give do our giveaway because we have no comments and shares. So maybe next time. Yeah. Uh, I guess I can show off the picture real quick of what we're giving away before. Oh, not that one. That one. Yes. Let's get out of there. So we're giving away a nice Hulk print from our good friend Frankie Serna. You get to see him at all the cons and good shit. Probably see him at Comic Con coming up. And yeah, we got a second one, but that one's mine. <laughs> I like his stuff from him. But yeah, thank you guys, and uh, hopefully we'll catch more people next week. Ba -ba -ba.